Hey guys, Strike here, and welcome back to a Dragon Age Inquisition. In the last one, the giants gave me so much hell. And this time around, I'm hoping that I don't go absolutely insane, wailing away on giants for another like three hours straight or something insane. Because that, that was not okay, game. Please, oh god, don't ever make me do that again. So first off, we're gonna summon the War Council, and I'm gonna turn on my fan, because I, I didn't even realize how fucking hot it was until in this room until I started recording. But for now, where do we want to begin? Where did I even send everybody? Is everyone finished, or is there only a few? I know I sent someone on like a 15-hour job or something. Friending Karinus, observing the deadlock, and improving morale. It's all done. Night Captain Rylan. Commander, everyone's grateful for the new cook. A good meal after a long day certainly lifts the spirits. Talk around the dinner table has become more lively. Supplies in the approach are limited, but I swear that man could cook anything from nothing. One night he managed to produce a fish and, fish and egg pie. I haven't had one of those since Starkhaven. Oh, you're an Irish boy. Okay, how cute. I should probably give you an Irish voice, but I can't be bothered. The smallest things remind you what you're trying to protect. Night Captain Ryland. Okay, what do we got over here? Observing the deadlock. Don't even remember which alliance this is, but whatever. Despite their intent to craft a political entity to oppose us, these noble families are too embroiled in their own conflicts to even acknowledge us. We've acquired some additional trading partners who are willing- Oh, sorry, who are tired of waiting for a winner to emerge. 146 gold. Oh boy. What a- what a, what a fucking reward that is. Friend in Karinas, though. Magister Mevaris Talani. I imagine that's a man? My Lord Inquisitor. Considerable as your support has been, I'm saddened to report my motion died on the Senate floor. Although I am hardly surprised, my fellows in the Magisterium don't enjoy the thought of having their freedom limited in any fashion. That was, however, hardly the point of the motion. It was a statement that needed to be made, and your support allowed me to make it far louder and clearer than I ever would have on my own. So I thank you. With any luck, this will draw support from those who feel as I do. It will also draw fire from venatory cultists still in the shadows. But I say let them come. I will not back down in the face of such fools. I am sending along a few things which I hope will aid your efforts. And we'll see what more I can drum up. Give my love to Dorian. Poor boy is such a hothouse orchid. He must be wilting in the cold. Yes, erectile dysfunction does affect so many men every year. If you can just donate. Two pounds or- I'm gonna shut up now. Magister- not to me, to the erectile people. But also to me if you want. Although my penis is working perfectly fine, I will have you know. Magister Mavaris Talani, apostate staff blade, fuck yeah. Oh no, 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 there's so much. I don't know what to do! The Tavinta Resistance probably important. I wanted to do the Serpent of Navarra for quite a long time now, but we just never had the right person available at the right time. Because I believe it's surprisingly... Oh no, it's Leliana. Okay, what is this again? Inquisition agents have uncovered a potential problem in the nation of Navarra. A Tavinta mage by the name of Virelius has been recently been noted in the company of King Marcus, and rumors comment on how strange it is for a new advisor to be so closely heeded. There is evidence to indicate that Virelius is a dom, I mean, is a member of the Venatori, having the Navarran king under the sway. Under their sway would give the cult a great deal of power and hinder the Inquisition's ability to operate in the north. Straight up the King of Navarra! That is a little bit much, isn't it? I, uh... I don't know what we're even remotely gonna be capable of doing here. Um... 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 It sounds like a Josephine job. We should tell King Marcus what, it, uh, what his advisor truly is. Convince him to see the light. Send an agent to eliminate the advisor as well as his supporters, by any means necessary. No, Leliana. Wait for this advisor to leave the capital, and send- No, oh my god! I mean... Capture him? Does that mean I could then judge him? No, honestly, as pathetic as it sounds, I think Josephine's option is probably the best. We don't want to be killing members of the Navarran court. That doesn't sound like a good idea at all. Um, plus it never really changes the Navarran king's mind, if it's already been sort of fucked with. Who knows, right? We don't know how far this has gone. I, that has been there forever and I just haven't interacted with it. Um, all that glitters? I mean, that sounds pretty sexy to me, but it probably needs Josephine. 
Oh yeah, Angry Vargas. I did want to do this. We've already read this one out, so I'm not going to do it again. We're sending Leliana. Because I think it's cute that she doesn't want to kill them. She's happy to kill whatever kind of human, elf, kunari, dwarf, anything. If it suits her needs. But she refuses to kill a Vargas. A terrifying, poisonous, fire-breathing beast that is trying to kill all our friends. She's like, nah, it's our fault. Just lead it away a little bit. You're a psychopath, Leliana. And I love you. Um... All that glitters, do you for some reason need Cullen? Surprisingly, you only need Cullen. Fuck yeah! Inquisitor, we've received reports of an abandoned gold mine in the hills south of the Griffinwing Keep. Fuck yeah! According to the locals, the mine's still capable of producing. It was abandoned only because the threat of Darkspawn attack made the operation unfeasible. Should we dispatch soldiers to secure the place and guard any wa- Oh sorry, should we dispatch soldiers to secure the place and guard any wagons that make their way to the keep? It should add considerably to our income in the future. I can send soldiers to set up a camp at the mine straight away, Inquisitor. Inquisitor. I know that isn't his voice at all. I don't know why I make him sound a lot more like Blackwall than himself. But I kind of like his voice being down here. At least when I read it out. Because otherwise, he, it, he sounds a bit too pathetic for a guard captain. Unless he's doing one of his rousing speech- arousing speeches that he does when we're uh, going to war or anything, and then, then he sounds really badass, but he doesn't really have a voice with a lot of gravitas otherwise, right? It's sort of just, oh, oh, Inquisitor, oh, uh, I'm a drug addict, Inquisitor, please help me, Inquisitor. I, I, it doesn't really sound very badass knight commander to me. But anyway, now I need to de decide where the fuck I'm going. We can either finally do the Warden mission, and at the risk of advancing the main story, and potentially fucking shit up, or, we make our way to Empris de Lyon, the Emerald Graves, Exalted Plains, Frostbite Base in this DLC. Um, Fibon Oasis, we can't do that. Hissing Wastes, we probably can do that. Anything new over here, or was most of it in Orlais? I think the vast majority of new places are sort of in the borderline between Ferelden and Orlais. Yeah, we got a lot of places to visit, huh? And I just don't know which one I want to do. Because it might be torture if I take myself to another place like the Western Approach. Because fuck me. As cool as the Western Approach is and the way it looks and everything, it's immensely painful to navigate and just do all that shit. Dorian approves. Should I go quickly talk to Dorian? I don't think that man can love me any more than he already loves me. But at the same time, I want to push this as far as it can possibly fucking go. I want this man to beg for me on his knees and do other stuff on his knees. But, um, I don't know. I think Cassandra would probably disapprove just a little bit. Huh. I also really want to get Solus on our side. I'm really enjoying Solus lately. Always with the questions. Will people say? That's literally it. Yeah. I'm worried that we've done his big loyalty mission, and now he's basically just not going to say a whole lot unless we're doing main quests. I don't think there's going to be any more like, uh, I approve of you more now. Come talk to me again, etc. Like there was in the other Dragon Age games. But I don't know. We'll see. I'm going to take a minute to decide where the hell we're going, because I really don't know whether I want to do main quest. Or get myself killed over and over and over and over and over in one of these places. I also don't know what the next one would be. I feel like I'm probably meant to do some main quest, huh? Oh! The Exalted Plains has Vivienne, Solus, oh my god, all my mages. Vivienne, Solus, it's also got a Cassandra thing. I'm gonna take a full-blown mage team to this. Why not? I mean, I've wanted to go to all these different places eventually. I might as well do it now, right? We're not gonna have- oh, no, we do need a warrior. We do need a warrior to be able to kick things down if I need to. So... Vivienne can wait, since she's my least favorite mage. Now, remember when she was my favorite member of the party? I don't know what happened. I just suddenly decided to absolutely despise her. She's really annoying. I don't despise her. Oh man, Alexius gets his own fucking tarot card. That's weird. It's almost like they were going to make a Dragon Age card game, wasn't it? Maybe that did happen and I just don't know about it. Oh, hello. Inquisitor. The Dales. Welcome to the Exalted Plains, a place with a long and bloody history. Sounds Even sexy. Even now the region is volatile. This was a front in the Civil War. 
Now there's rebels called the Freemen of the Dales. Oh These yeah, I remember this. And adding to the chaos. Are they elves? Because I kind of just want to join them. This is where the Bloody elves history, huh? last stand, isn't it? Ah, you studied the Dales. Yes. When offered a chance to lay down their arms and surrender, they refused. Hmm. Tell me more about these free men of the Dales. This rebel group. Tell me more about them. They seem to be simple deserters, tired of fighting and dying for either the Empress Probably or the Grand Probably not Duke. elves, then, huh? Now they want the Dales for their own. Worse, they're more organized than we anticipated. This is my you fucking really... homeland, you fucks! Anything else? What else can you tell me? Scouts have sighted Dalish elves. There must be a clan camp somewhere on the plains. Dalish elves? Okay. Not joining them, but that will be possibly all. worth Thank befriending? You. With the rifts and the undead. Or conquering, which would be very, round. very sad. Most have been driven back to their forts. We have to stabilize the region, allowing the Imperial Army to reestablish its presence. Good luck, Your Worship. You'll need it. Thanks, bitch. Jesus. No one ever has any any uh, faith in me now, do they? You guys gonna talk? Or can I can I slowly, very, very carefully approach the requisition officer before she ruins everything? I think I can. There you go. Dispatch for you. Yes, yes, yes. I wish they would actually explain what they need. Yeah, I bet it is. God, you look like a brick. Well, that, you have the most square face I've ever seen. How unappealing. Uh, oh, wow. We got a lot of quests straight up. As if Scout Harding gave them to us, but she definitely didn't. Well, let's see what we gotta do here. Just, is it just obsidian? It's just obsidian. We have 80 obsidian, 66 viridium. So, okay, go for it. Dwarven academics are pleased, I guess. Sure, what do we got here? Fuck, I really hope that wasn't Vivienne's book. Please tell me that wasn't Vivienne's book. Did I do Vivienne's book? What was that? What'd I do? What'd I do? I have to see. Okay, in a circle. Before the door. What the fuck is that? Jesus, what is this? I don't remember seeing this. Who asked me to do this? Cullen? Cullen, okay. Um. Western approach. Exalted play. What the hell did I just pick up then? I. I don't know. But it's clearly not that. Let's see if we can find Vivienne's, because that'll teach me. That's the Vivienne one. That's just kill a load of undead. And that is Solus. Hell yeah. I can't wait to do Solus's, man. It's been, I think, the loyalty mission we've had for the longest that isn't some weird-ass collectathon. So I'm very, very excited to finally get that done. Uh, do you have anything new you're going to give me? She's just walking in space. Of course she is. Come on, come on. Give it to me. Bloodstone. Couldn't care less. I'm already bored. Uh, let's make our way up to these landmarks, shall we? Start claiming this place is my own. Oh, damn. Look at you. Are you the same guy or are you two different guys holding a frying pan? How very interesting. Where do I mark it? Here we go. Guardians of the Path. The plaque on the statue reads, Let the light of Andraste lift your spirits. Weren't we seeing things like that? in Orlay, in Val Royale, when we first went there. I believe we were, but I don't really know why. Cabs established. Um, let's target the undead ramparts for now, just so I don't have to keep seeing about the, the door. I wanted to at least be focused on something tangible right now. Oh god, are there going to be more shards and astrariums and everything in this place? I shouldn't really turn that down because it's going to make me more powerful eventually. But it's just so fucking frustrating. Let the eternal flame purify your soul. No thanks. No, I, 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 I'd rather not. I'm, I'm perfectly pure enough. A pure little baby boy. Thank you for the rash fight. I mean, we got ghoul's beard seeds. So I imagine we can also get seeds for that. I just have no idea where the hell we plant it. Straight up enemies, right next to the cap. You barely do a job of scouting, do you? You move like two feet from the base. All right, fine, fine. Gordian, huh? That sounds vaguely like an elven name. I'm worried that I'm going to have to be murdering my own kind. For the first time in a Dragon Age game, we've had to face very few elves. Pretty much all the enemies we've been taking. <laughs> that was such a beautiful position to be frozen in. He was so ready for it. Um, 
pretty much all the enemies we've been facing have been humans. At least, well, at least the sentient races we've been facing, like bandits and everything, and tormentors and all that shit. Anything that isn't a demon or some kind of angry predator, um, they have, as far as I can tell, been human. I don't think we've even fought a single Cunari yet. I was never good at doing what other people wanted. <laughs> Or Avar, because I kind of get the feeling Avar are a race of their own, since they're just so unbelievably big. Uh, free men messages. The Inquisition have arrived. Wait, this is Gordian. What voice should I give you? The Inquisition have arrived. They would take the Dales and say it is the Herald of Andraste's right. There is no such right. These lands should be yours. We cannot allow the Inquisition to gain a foothold. It's all, oh, it's all Orlesians? You don't sound Orlesian in my head. It's all these true defenders. You know what to do. Gordian. Hmm. Well, I can't wait to behead you, my friend. Ah, uh, shitty Vanguard armor. Oh, don't tell me everything is going to be a low, lower level than me here, too. We did absolutely just dominate all of those bandit boys, so I get the feeling... God, I, I'm so overleveled, aren't I? The Path of Flame. Remember where Andraste's champions first set foot in the Exalted Plains, called Dirt's Caravan by the Elves. Hala Halam Shiral's Dark Heart was conquered, but one last challenge came from the Elves, who would not submit to the Maker. They gathered upon the plain. Our champions answered their call, marching in Andraste's light on the Path of Flame. Lord Demetrius Aran, Sister Amity, and Sir Brandis of Lac Celestine, called the Silver Helm. Okay, so we're gonna learn a little bit more about the conquering of my own kind, are we? That's a bit depressing. God, I can't wait to kill you all and get you out of here. What's this? This Vivienne's? Yeah, we'll come back to that another time. Undead Ramparts? Should we just immediately take the Undead Ramparts? It doesn't really seem like there's many other places I can go. Torn shit. Dear sir. Excuse me. Enclosed his payment for the last shipment. The Lord greatly enjoyed the fish. We've had exactly as he recommended. How do you do it? Please keep them coming. He has a hankering for trout this week. Viriel. Well. Everyone else died. But at the very least. At the very least, my lord. Your trout survived, apart from the fact it's almost definitely crawling with maggots and is the most low-poly thing in the entire game. Thank you for the Gurgut webbing. I think we met one Gurgut, but I can't remember what the hell it is and why it exists. Oh, man! Roaming demons is straight up. No, uh... No rifts in, in sight or anything. They're just here now. That's very rare. I don't think we ever see that. Oh, they're level 11. Yeah, we're like... We're, we're, we're very much a higher level than you. This is going to be depressing if it, I, it won't even let me hit my attacks. There we go. It's going to be real depressing is that if this is all we're fighting along the way. Let me root around in your goo, my friend. Spirit essence. This should really start crafting. I feel like we're quite late on in the game now, even if it doesn't really feel like it. And therefore, I should be making myself some delicious gear. But I haven't even come close. Who the fuck are you? Your Nana? Your, you're her grandmother. You, you look like 20. What's going on? Only a few of the Wait, we ended the war? The world is finally coming to its senses. I guess the Templars are terrified of us, huh? And they refuse to take on the Inquisition, apart from the Red Templars. They are very much not terrified, on account of being full of every drug you can ever imagine, and not even really being human anymore. So... Who are you? I thought we'd want to be killing you as well, but it looks like we're defending you. You're just sort of a guy. And it looks like you're dueling this guy. It looked really cool. Did I take him out in one or is he still alive? No, he's still alive. It just won't let me hit him because the game is shit. There we go. The game is not shit. The game just has a very clunky combat system that is not great for melee fighters. Hello, Corporal Rosalind. What are, what are we doing here? Th there's no more enemies. We can calm down now, right? There we go. We sort of just did. Who are you? Are you Imperial Army? I can't hear you over the fucking whirring of that ice mine, for fuck's sake. The fighting has stopped, yes? The Starks and Halam Shiral mean an end to hostilities, don't they? We're no longer fighting each other, but the demons. 
the dead. It was easier when we fought just men. You can win against men. Uh, well, what's going on, my friend? What happened here? We were trying to retake the ramparts from the dead. They rise here, somewhere within these trenches. It started when those free men showed up. Strange lights, like blue fire. It must be magic. But the free men are just deserters from the armies. How could they have managed this? And why? So, at first, I was admittedly really excited gone. by the sheer amount of enemy variety that there is in this game. Uh, when the Red Templar showed up, that was an entirely new fucking enemy type that we'd never even seen before in all of Dragon Age and shit like that. Everything fought differently. But now that we carry it on, Undead have been the big bad of three different areas now. The Fallowmire, Crestwood, and now here, as well as the Freemen of the Dales, but they're just humans. We fight humans all the time. Um, yeah, that's kind of sucky, isn't it? I, I gotta get used to it. I mean, it was a really, really, really ambitious game, because I think one of the issues is, which isn't an issue, it's a big, big good thing on account of the, uh, on the game's behalf. I think one of the things that throws me off is this game looks so fantastic that I forget that it came out in 2014, just th just two years after the last piece of DLC for uh, Dragon Age 2. And there's such a graphical leap, there's such a leap in scope from that game to here. And it's just sort of like, I, I feel like it came out closer to Andromeda's release, even though it really, really didn't. So I, I've got to give them extreme credit for that, but I always forget to. What do we got here? Father's Guidance. Rygard. What a terrible name. I'll be, <laughs> I'll be gone by the time you get back. Heading to lights. Join me as soon as you can. I've left some supplies in the hollow of the old tree. One near the ruin. It should be enough to pay someone to take you to the city. Be safe. Father. Oh, lay rest at the western... Uh, you just want me to burn down your lovely, lovely building? But it's so lovely, lovely. I don't want to do this. It is right next to us, though, to be fair, so I, I have every opportunity to. You know what? I'll be right back. Not jump cutting, but I'll be right back because I want to make my way over here. It's yet another landmark. I really, really, really like the way the Exalted Plains looks. I, I actually quite liked the Western approach, despite it just being a desert. Normally, um, deserts in open world games like this tend to be a bit too barren. Um, but no, I think they did, uh, the Western approach really, really well. Like, the time-stopped area was fan-fucking-tastic. Uh, even the Darkspawn area was pretty damn good. Um, it was just some of the combat there was hilariously awful. But the areas themselves were fantastic. This place also looks fantastic. They nail their locations. Demetrius's end. Remember Lord Demetrius Iran, the only one of Andraste's champions to fall. Forces of the Exalted March met the Elves upon the field. Our numbers far exceeded theirs. The champions, kind and fair, gave the Elves a chance for peace. <coughs> Excuse me. But the Elves would not lay down their arms. They slew Lord Demetrius in their charge. Make her take him to his, their, to his side or something. Huh. So I literally just have to... Read all the monuments on the Dales, making elves out to be some kind of fucking terrifying boogeyman. Angry tribe of doom that was just yeah, completely uncivilized. That, we know that isn't true! It's just so sad! Oh, my poor people. My poor people. It's sad because Firion was supposed to grant them land. And that clearly never became a thing. Or at least, I think in the epilogue, which we know actually counts for nothing, because so much has changed from the epilogue of um, both Awakening and Origins, including the time frame of how everything works. But yeah, in the epilogue, I believe it said that um, it didn't go so well or something, or at least it was still very early days and shit was going down, like humans were constantly raiding our lovely, lovely, lovely Dalish village or whatever the hell we'd done. I don't remember how much land we gave them. I think maybe we gave them... Oh fuck, we gave them Ostagar, didn't we? Which was probably a massive kick in the dick for all the families of people who died at Ostagar, or all of the Ostagarian survivors. That's probably not a word, but oh well. You know what? This game's combat is very, very fun, as long as you're winning. It's one of the- and I know that just sounds really stupid, because I really like a challenge. 
We're playing on one of the hardest difficulties, for fuck's sake. And I, I, I do love a challenge in games. But this game seems to do its challenge by basically just making things take forever to kill, as opposed to giving them new, fresh, special abilities and everything, and having them d be more tactically sound and everything. No, the enemies just become more spongy. It's the only thing that really happens when you put it up on difficulties, from what I can tell. That's an arcane aura. Oh no. And maybe just ups the amount of them too. That is also a possibility. Who knows? But yeah, I don't know. I like combat when it's done. I, I like uh, difficulty increases when it's done smart, as opposed to lazily, as what this sometimes seems. But yeah, when I'm winning, it makes the combat look a hell of a lot more smooth. I don't know if that sounds like a massive cop out. It probably is. But I enjoy it a lot more this way. Huh. I don't, I'm not saying that I should take it down a difficulty because I, I, I want to complete this game on hard. I started on hard. We're going to finish on hard. We're going to do all the fucking secret special bosses if there are, are any on hard and everything. And we'll ace it. But oh my god. Taking on those giants in the last session put a bad fucking taste in my mouth. There we go. Oh, are you fucking... You immune to ice, you little bastard? No, you're not. You're literally frozen. And in midair, that looked badass. Just teleported slightly over that. God, you're annoying. All right, Dorian, I know you're our biggest damage dealer in the entire team. But I just want to take some time to loot. Is that okay? What are you doing over here? And you immediately just charge back. You left Solus on his own to do all the fighting for you. You're a moron. Everyone in my team is a goddamn moron. Fine, fine. We'll end this man. Ooh, if Solus can put him in ice mode, and then, um... Oh, there are more fucking undead. Where, where the hell did you come from? Oh, good. He's dead. Of course he's dead. Why wouldn't he be dead? Get the fuck out of here. I'm pressing all the goddamn wrong keys. I don't remember how to play. There we go. I mean, I could shatter the bastard. I could do Solus's undying technique of fucking uh, freezing and then stone fist. My god, it looks fucking terrifying. Or I could just cast stone fist whenever I feel bothered. There we go. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, just go away! Oh man, I, I, fuck it. I'm actually having more fun playing as Darwin than I am as a mage, for once. Because, I don't know, when anything resists the element you're going for, it becomes very, very annoying to have to use said element. The element becomes very not fun to use, and if you want to do your specialization with like all your companions and everything, um, it's sort of hard to get multiple elements. So your mage is sort of confi confined to either being a storm mage, or a tempest mage, whatever the hell they're called. Or an uh, inferno mage, or an, a winter mage, etc, etc, etc. Um, and obviously their own specialty. So we sort of have to leave Dorian as the icy necromancer. Sort of have to leave Solus as the spirit boy rift mage. Which doesn't really work, because I've noticed that a lot of the rift things sort of, uh... Well, I don't know. It's sort of the status effect. Um... Magic school, right? Or at least it benefits from status effects, which makes you think that he would probably be better at applying status effects. I don't think he can do any of those except make them slightly cold with Winter's Grasp, and that's just because he came with it. Hell, maybe I should have just made him the Ice Mage and have someone else be the Spirit Mage. I mean, Vivienne? She is the one who has a healing maneuver in her, in her specialty place, whatever the hell. Uh, eight gold. Oh, I'm so glad I'm looting you. Aren't you? Wow, such amazing gear. Ugh. Sarah has had a better bow since the first time we used her. I found like an epic bow immediately. It's probably like level two or something. And it's still better than all the other shit we're finding. What is going on? What is that? Hello? Could that be the source of all this? I mean, no. It looks like a mass grave that was never allowed to be a grave. grave could achieve peace, Cassandra. I had hope, as did we all. The Templars went to war to force mages back into their circles, which the mages would never agree to. What solution could divine just- We don't have any fire, for fuck's sake. The war was going nowhere for either side. That they went at all showed they realized this. Or they believed the other side would relent. We shall never know now. I'm gonna let Solus do this, since he seems to be the biggest psychopath on the team. 